Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video on a hot sunny summer's day. Behind me we have my new BMW M2 and in this video things kind of kick off. You may remember at Silverstone I was racing and a steward came up to the car taking photos because I had cameras placed in my race car um, and he was walking around etc. Now I have an update. I'm at Brand Hatch Racing Circuit today because there is a track day which is uh, happening. Now the circuit is very quiet at the moment. Porsche are putting up things over here uh, because it's a Porsche festival this weekend. So if you want to come down, come down. Uh, but uh, there's a red flag, so that's why it's all very quiet. So you may be thinking, is he going to take this on track? The answer not today it is not finished it's running in service uh that still needs to be done i need to get to the 1200 mile mark once i've got to that um, i will then be able to take this car on track um but at the moment i think we're only on like four or five hundred so i'm miles away some people would do it anyway but i just want to do it by the book run it in properly etc but doesn't it just look awesome looks absolutely awesome right we're going to see a couple of the cars that are here on this day that i'm at we've got some very cool cars about we've got a modified audi r8 v10 plus look at that with an actual rear wing on the back that looks pretty cool love the look of that that's awesome i love that very similar to the one that i used to own in a lovely green color which is here green khaki green which is similar wrap to my gt um gt3 my rs6 gold wheels and actually has silencers on it because on track days in the UK you literally have to well silence your cars they don't just allow you to go around which is a bit annoying but it's just part of the rule F8 Tributo which is here I don't know if these, this is going on the circuit but uh, really nice looks cool I really like that the F8 is just a super super car I just don't even know what these are like on the track. I don't know whether they'd be any good or not, but they should be. And the M2 competition, I love these. And then Tony, Mr. Tony, everyone's always asking where Tony is. He's here today, we're hanging out together, and uh, maybe we'll get him in on the video as well. But he's driving uh, an M3 Touring, so he's been loving the M3 Touring, which is super cool. I said to him, we should take it on the circuit, and he was like, no, I'm not going on the circuit. So um, anyway, he's been dailying this very nice m3 touring i genuinely think it's the the best daily you can have and he actually says to me this genuinely is the best daily that money can buy which is super super cool the thing on the screen that's when you know someone's a car salesman we have a 488 pista which is here also which looks lovely and then we have a dbx which I love the DBX, a super super cool car. We carry on and then we have this very nice and then we have this very nice Turbo S which looks awesome with the blue with the gold wheels on it. I love that. What do you reckon to this Turbo S? I'm not sure again if it's on circuit today, but do like the look of that. That is a really really nice spec, isn't it? Oh, and a very nice 765 just coming just there. Love the 765. What a car. What a flipping car. And this is the first time I have seen an M3 CS. That's stunning. Really, really cool. With the gold wheels. That's so nice. I love that. It's like a matte sort of PPF on it. The new dash, which looks mega. I love that. What do you reckon to that? New M3 CS. Much quicker. All the carbon bits on it. That is a good looking car. And then we have a 48 Pista which is cool and uh, if you don't know the cross on the back means novice which means someone is learning how to drive on the circuit please beware they are new they are learning and please respect them on the circuit so that is what the cross means but really do love the pista and i think uh, well the issue with the pista the only thing is just they're not great on track uh so maybe this is just uh someone who's well learning slowly and not going too fast but i found when i drove one on track they don't get tired temperature very quick. And that that cloud is going to chuck it down. So my friend's going out in his GT4 RS to get some laps in. Now I think the thing we need to talk about is the incident. If you don't remember, I was basically starting from pole position at Silverstone and uh, just before a steward came up and he was, um, yeah, just circling the car, taking photos, etc. Then spoke to me and i was just a little bit surprised because i was distracted i was starting from pole position lots of the comments were basically saying racing drivers have sort of a routine they go through before we risk our lives going very fast on a circuit is it is it an issue uh well we're not gonna make an issue of it right now no when would you make an issue of it well i'll leave that to terry cox to decide but 
It's not correct, but obviously you're not going to do anything about it now, so... Well, we can take them out now. What's wrong? Cameras. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I can take them out now. I'd, ra I'd rather you didn't get unbelted. I'd rather you stay belted in, ready to go, so... You don't have any team members here with you. No, but I can give them to Chris over there as the organiser. Right. You know? No, it's alright, it's alright. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Right, do you want me to give it to him? All right. No, you can. I just felt this really did put me off. Um, that was the biggest thing for me. Uh, I was very sort of polite back, etc. And uh, yeah, like we, we, we posted the video. Now, Motorsport UK, which are like the governing body of us racing drivers, etc., of you know, that make it possible to go racing, sent me a letter. Um, and it basically was just highlighted a few different points. They went through it properly with their legal team, which understandable. Uh, the scrutiny identified cameras attached to the vehicle that they were unable to confirm the compliance of. So they didn't really know what was going on. I get that, but also, I also think that this should have been sort of happened at the end is when they should have spoken to me. We understand and appreciate the pressure the driver's under. They understood that part. Um, so obviously they got, got the part which I was talking about. Um, they also said that the scrutineer would have additional training to the point of what happened, etc. So I really do respect that, that most support UK are taking that step. And they also accepted that it should have happened post-race, like I've mentioned. I guess the biggest thing which my side was basically where they said most sport is reliant on its volunteers uh, the volunteers give up their free time on the weekend etc and they feel that this was obviously unfair that the marshal had received sort of online abuse now i have a very sort of strong stance on this i respect marshals massively if we don't have marshals uh, on the circuit we as racing drivers don't go racing i've always had an amazing relationship with marshals marshals have always been amazing to me they're great people and actually multiple marshals have saved my life in accidents before so i really respect that and i actually respect individuals that go to motorsport weekends and they don't get paid and they just enjoy it and they love it now i you know, I really, really respect people like that. And to be honest with you, I respect the scrutineer. I just didn't really respect the re the approach. And I was just like, I just kind of just want an apology kind of thing. Um, so that side, I hope that clears it up. And I don't condemn online abuse. So this chap getting online uh, abuse in my comment section, I don't condemn that. I've actually disabled the comments on uh, the video on the Instagram and also on the TikTok, um, which uh, they asked for. So I've done that just because I, again, don't agree with that and it doesn't go with the Motorsport UK rules. So I do really uh, appreciate that side. One big thing they wanted me to do was kind of remove the content, but I felt that like I've actually done nothing wrong myself because what I've done is I've just literally documented real life events so when they wanted me to remove the content I said look I'll disable the comments because I feel that that was the biggest part which I did not agree with but that was real life events I really tried to be nice to this marshal and I offered to take the cameras out I offered just to be really sort of relaxed and everything else but it just I just wasn't really getting anywhere I've documented what is completely real life I've put it online and that's it. If he, if he said, right, you must take them out before, I would have done it. They said what I should have done was literally just go onto uh, the website, have a bit called race with respect, um, which I should have just not put it on social media and just done this part. Now, I agree to that point, but I'm also documenting for my sponsors and for you guys my whole season. So I was just documenting real life events. Now in future, and I will make sure that I go on to race with respect, I fill out the form and I give them the footage as well, etc. And that is, you know, what I will do in the future. Now I really like what they've got here with a race with respect part, because if you're a competitor in future, you can go on there and you can basically fill it out if you have a problem and just respect everybody. Because genuinely, I respect everyone. I will shake everyone's hand, I will make sure that I give everyone the maximum respect, whether a marshal, scrutineer or anybody, and never discriminate anybody as well. I was a little bit disappointed when I got the letter, I'm not gonna lie, but it's all sorted. Uh, the comments are disabled. Now in this video, guys, please just be nice. <laughs> Don't leave a negative comment about uh, this individual. We're moving on. Now this weekend, guys, we can win the championship which I've been competing in. Now you've got to be in it to win it. We've been in it from the start. So let's see how we get on. Um, but yeah, I hope that clears everything up on that side. 
and uh, yeah, I really respect everybody this weekend. Marshals are coming to the weekend, volunteers, you name it, and uh, hopefully I can meet lots of you this weekend. So guys, I hope that clears it up. And uh, I'm now in the M2 heading back to the hotel because this is such a big weekend for me. It's the final weekend of the year. We can win the championship, but it's all got to go to plan. And uh, yeah, this would all not be possible without you guys um for sure and also my sponsors car vertical obviously you know car vertical great company uh make sure you check them out if you're buying a car checking your car's history etc uh charles and dean massive thank you to those guys adrian flux obviously insurance and uh we also have others such as 2010 eden private staff and obviously the team as well without those guys we would not be on the grid and uh, i just want to do a good job this weekend and bring the the good result home for you and uh fingers crossed it all goes to plan and i hope we've sort of put to bed everything which uh we spoke about on this video as well and uh yeah i'll be uh, obviously waving to the marshals even more this weekend and thanking them as always they do an amazing job for our sports and uh yeah i can't wait to bring it to you all so i'll see you at the next one which hopefully i'll have some good news for you and uh yeah we'll go from there thanks for watching guys i'll see you there